Hello and welcome to another Don Ross logo lesson, our third of three lessons. This lesson will start off in Illustrator and finish in Photoshop. So the first two lessons were in Illustrator. Now we're going to take the Illustrator files, chop them up into little pieces, and then bring them into Photoshop and then do some layer styles to it. So it's kind of an interesting use. They work very well together. Uh, but the first thing is we've got to set up everything right. All right, so how did we go about making the four different Illustrator files that we're going to then later bring them into Photoshop and do some layer styles with them? So I'm going to start off with the very beginning of two different ones. We have, I believe it's Eagle 2. And we also have... Um, logo. All right, so basically on the logo, um, I'm just going to throw these in the garbage, these eagles, because we did these with Live Trace. Uh, I did these with Live Trace, and if you want to do that with Live Trace, try it. Uh, go ahead, just watch the videos on Live Trace and then Live Paint, and that's how I did it, but uh, that's not what we're going to show you here. So I'm going to throw the mountain and I, this eagle layer is empty and the original I'm going to throw in the garbage as well. So I'm just left with eagle text and eagle rings. But I need those on separate files. I need a Don Ross text and I need a Don Ross rings. So I'm going to go file, save as, and I'm going to call Don Ross text. And I'm going to replace it. That's okay because I'll just fix it. Okay. So now we're Don Ross text. So now I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to say Don Ross Rings, and Save. Must have hit No or something. Okay, so now I'm in Don Ross Rings, and I don't want the text on this. So I'm going to throw the text in the garbage, and then I'm going to go Control S. Then I'm going to go File Open. And I'm going to go to Don Ross text. And what don't I want? I don't want the rings. So I'm going to unlock and throw the rings in layer in the garbage. And this is a layer palette. Remember, window, layers, F7, or you can go to window workspace basic if you're missing any of those. So you can barely see them because they're in white, but they are there. And again, I'm going to go Control S. So now I've done it for the two parts of the rings and the text. Now I've got this guy. And in fact, this was not the original. So I'm going to go File, Open, and I believe it is Eagle, and I guess just Eagle. Okay. So this is all my parts. So I'm just going to throw these in the garbage. And then you'll notice I've got it all on the same layer. So what I want to do is I want to get this body. So I click on the body. It's all grouped, so I've got to go Control shift g to get rid of the grouping. And then I take the bottom, and I just go Control x And I make a new layer, and I'm just going to call it Body. And I say OK. And I drag the body to the bottom, and then I go Control v And then I'll move it to where I think is good and that looks pretty good so now this is the eagle so now I'm gonna go file save and then I'm gonna go file save as and I'm gonna call it eagle body just like I did with the last one and then I'm gonna go this is eagle body I'm gonna go file save as and I'm gonna call it eagle detail say okay. Now I've got them separate. So this is eagle detail. So what do I want to get rid of? I want to get rid of the body. So I throw the body in there. Go control S. Then I go file open and I've got a 
find ego body. And what do I get rid of? I get rid of the detail. And I go control S. And then we open up Photoshop and we start bringing in the separate layers. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to start a new one. I'm going to go File Open. And I'm going to start off by opening the Don Ross rings because it's the biggest. Okay. Then I'm going to go File Place. And then remember, this is in Photoshop. So now I'm going to place the Don Ross text. And you can't see it because it's completely white, but you'll see it when we place it. And I'll just take my down arrow and move it so it looks like it's perfectly centered and sits nicely. And now it's again, you can see the bounding box, so you know it's in free transform. So you have to hit enter before you do anything else. Then I'm going to go file place. And I'm going to go to that other folder I had, the eagle. Yours may be in a different place, and I'm going to put in eagle body. And I'm going to place it. It's too big, so I'm going to hold the shift and the alt key. And I'm going to resize it until I'm happy with it. Then I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to go file place again. And I'm going to hit eagle detail. And I'm going to say OK. And again, I'm going to hit shift and alt. until it looks about right. Then I might just hit the down arrow a few times until it looks just perfect. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now is where the good stuff in Photoshop comes up. I'm going to start off with the rings layer. I'm not going to double click on layer one because that would allow me to change its name, although I could and call that rings if I wanted to. I am going to double click on the open blue spot on the layer. I double click and it gives me all these choices. And you should try a bunch of them. But I'm just going to try bevel and emboss and contour right now. And I'm going to click on bevel and emboss and it gives me my choices. I'm going to increase the size of the bevel and emboss while kind of looking off to the side. And I'm about happy with that. Just a little bit of 3D look to it with a curve and a contour on the end. And I say OK. And I could put in a drop shadow, an inner shadow, and I did do some of these on my main one, but double click the FX and then just explore and try them. For example, um, inner glow. I don't know what this will look like, but I can choose my color and I might even want to choose that red and a really bright red. And say OK for an inner glow and then I click on inner glow and I increase the size and it gives it you can see it has a bit of a red glow on the blue now that's not bad but you can just experiment with so many of these color overlay click on here I don't know blue okay I don't like it but I'll uncheck for color overlay so you do that and you say OK and then you're going to do all the different details, uh, eagle detail, eagle body, and you just try some, and you should put some sort of layer style on each of the layers. And eventually you will be looking maybe like this, maybe very different. Different is okay. Just use all the skills you've learned, have some fun with it, be creative, and it would be cool if it doesn't look exactly like mine. Uh, it's good to see something different. Thanks for watching.